Hi everyone, it's Diana at Catherine Diana Studios and I have another video here of the paper napkins that I have put on my Etsy shop, um, which I'll put the link in the video. Um, well, it's Catherine Diana Art because studios, Catherine Diana Studios was too long for them so I had to change it to Catherine Diana Art. But anyway, um, so it's I have to always remember that um, so anyway what I've got you know like a lot of artists do if we're doing decoupage collage abstract whatever we're doing uh, you know these napkins come in handy and we, we use them in our art but the thing is there are sometimes 20 30 40 in a pack I don't need that many and I have been collecting these for years some of these are 15 years old or more many of them are completely discontinued you can't get them anymore and they're from makers Rachel, Rachel Ash, well, can't even talk. Um, uh, Mesafina, uh, Michelle, um, oh, who else? Who else? Spode. Um, you know, beautiful, beautiful napkins from all different companies. So anyway, what I've been doing since I have eight billion of them, I literally I have forty-seven more sets to put together. I've got them in my formal living room scattered everywhere as I'm putting sets of two, three, or four together to list. So these have been listed already, so I'll do this video, and then when those others are listed, I'll do another video. And I'm just going to do them in small sections so the video doesn't take nine years to record. So anyway, so here we go. Just wanted to show you the wide variety here. Um, I think what I might do, I'll do this. Let's try this to show one at a time here. So this one here, wait, let me flip that that way. So you can kind of just see these. This one's called Beautiful Twall, and it is uh, various colors. Uh, this is a Martha Stewart. Uh, this one's a Spode. These two are Spodes, actually. And this one, I think, is a Michelle. I can't really remember. It's listed on the listing. Who made them, the dimensions, things like that. Uh, so uh, beautiful, beautiful napkins here. And um, if you can get a look, take a peek at that. So just beautiful borders, beautiful uh, landscape. Looks like a castle in the background, maybe some old garden ruins people here. It's just beautiful. Uh, this here is a similar, it, it's actually a similar uh, picture. Um, this is a little more purple. It's not, you know, I'd call it purple. Anyway, I don't know if you can see that well. It has the little livestock. Looks like that might be a goat. Um, let me open it up. Now I'm only opening them part way, and like I said, the dimensions. Most of these are like 13 by 15 or something like that. Uh, so anyway, there's a whole other piece that folds out. This is just what fits on camera. So anyway, lots and lots to work with. So if you are like me and you love transferware or vintage images and you know things like that, this is your deal. Uh, this one here, it's kind of twall, it's kind of a chinoiserie too, which I do have a chinoiserie pack. So anyway, this opens three over, so isn't that just beautiful? So there's that, and then this one here, it actually is a holiday, Christmas holiday, but it's beautiful. It's a Martha Stewart. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I threw it in because it's red. It kind of looks like transfer wear slash twall slash whatever. <laughs> So anyway, so there's that one. So again, that one's called Beautiful Twall. And then the next one, let's see here. This one, this one's called Birds and Bird Houses. It's cute, but it's got some really pretty beautiful things in there too. Isn't that darling? I just thought that was so cute. So this opens up. I think it's 10 by 10. Uh, and it's just adorable. And then we have this one here. And these are, again, are the ones that are like 13 by 13 when they're open. So it's like so. Look at all that. Beautiful. Uh, and then these when they open typically are like 13 by 15 and 3 quarters or something like that. They're right around that. So there's that design. Same on the back. And you open it up and it has it there as well. So this one here also is beautiful. And same. And it's the same on page as well. So again, this one here is called Birds, Birdhouses and Butterflies. Let me look. I have so many. And I had to name them something so I could keep track of them myself. Um, bird, 
Birds and birdhouses. There we go. All right, so the next one, ooh, we'll do this one here. This one is called Tropical Birds. Um, look, 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 look. Aren't they stunning? The colors are just divine. And the images are just fabulous. Look at that beautiful bird. So you open them up and, you know, it opens one more. All of these open one more time. So here are your images here. Uh, this one, I just love it. Love it. And I love that little edge there. Very pretty. And same thing. Multiple, oops, multiple images. So you get lots to work with for your decoupaging, collage, abstract art, whatever you're doing. Making your tags, your junk journals, your belly bands, your whatever. So look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Just beautiful. And then this one here, and a little bit different on that side. No, it's not. I lied. Sorry. It's this one where it's different. There we go. So it's a different bird. Isn't that beautiful? So there we go. So again, that one was tropical, tropical birds. And then this one here is called Beautiful Paris. And it's just napkins relating to Paris. So we'll start with this one here. Isn't that beautiful? So it opens up like so. Lots to work with here. Um, this one. Love that. Uh, let's get that open so you can kind of see. Big hydrangeas. You know, so when you turn it over like so, and then on the third side, it's the hydrangeas again, so lots of flowers to work with. And then this text in here and the butterflies and such. Uh, this one here, soft, beautiful. Uh, it has an image on all sides, six, six sides of the front. So I think it does. Now I'm doubting myself. Yeah, okay. So. Anyway, so there you go. So lots to work with. You can do a lot with this. Um, uh, one of my friends was saying just having this and framing it, <laughs> you know, is just lovely in itself, which it is. Uh, and then there's this one here, oops, which is also just beautiful. And there we go on the inside. So lots to work with. So that one's beautiful Paris. All right, this one is called... Da, da, da. This is the chinoiserie. Yeah, I'm calling it chinoiserie in Italian and the, let me try again. Chinoiserie and Italian tile, because it reminded me uh, of Italian of tile. Um, so anyway, look at these. The colors are deep and rich. This one here saw a little softer, a little more muted. So is this, um, but just beautiful. So let me um, kind of. You know, it's hard to look at a pattern on top of a pattern. So anyway, there we go. So just beautiful. Um, and it opens. I don't know why I'm Butterfingers this morning. Goodness. Opens like so. And these, when they're fully open, they're 10 by 10. Uh, this one here is just stunning. You have a lot to work with. Opens up like this. And I'll, I'll show you again what it looks like. Uh, up close and then the center has all of this isn't that gorgeous so you can do an awful lot with that and then it's back to this side again uh, so there here we go look at that isn't that oops let me put kind of running it up here through my tripod legs there so I can have you see it and then this one here it's beautiful beautiful colors great background use it by itself tear off pieces and put it, you know, in whatever you're working on. There's so many options with these. Look at that. Just stunning. And then this one here, it has a design uh, on this side. This side's different. It's the edging, which is just beautiful. And then it has the pattern on this side as well. So the napkin itself looks like that. So you can see that there is some white in here, little polka dots. And um, uh, just so you're aware, it's not a solid pattern on both sides. And so what I've done 
I sold uh, one, and because it doesn't have a pattern in that, I tossed in a little freebie uh, to go with it. So, uh, just to make up for that, because, you know, it just seemed like it should have something. So, this one here, I have a series called English Garden. I think I only have one or two of them listed. I've got, and this is another one that's going, going that is listed now. So, it's black, green, and yellow are forthcoming. I have pink and purple and blue listed, I believe. So this is called English Garden Black. Look at these. Ugh, are they not gorgeous? I just love them. This one here, it's got that distressed look to it. It looks aged. It has history to it. Um, look at the colors. They're just beautiful. Uh, so there's that one. There's this one here. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. That side here. And I'm going to open it up so you can see. There you go. The whole thing. Now that one has two. Oop, let me drop that down a little bit. Two birds. So when you open like so, you've got one bird and then the flowers. And then of course it opens one more time. So you get six, six images. And then this one, I thought this was adorable. And so the flowers on like so, and they go. Really, what is up with my fingers today? All the way around. So there's floral border all the way around this darling buffalo check. Reminds me of a dress I wore back in the 80s. It was a, I think it was an Anne Klein. And the skirt and the top were both buffalo check like that. <laughs> so I looked like I was ready to go to a picnic, but it was really cute. So, and then there's this one here. Beautiful fruits, um, florals. Look at that color. Look at that color. Is that just not divine? So, so much you can do with that. So anyway, so this is English Garden Black. And then we have another set with birds. This one's called uh, uh, peacocks. And the reason I'm just calling it peacocks, even though it's a bunch of tropical birds, well, these aren't really tropical birds, but uh, is because there are two peacock napkins. So, and I could kick myself for not buying more of these. <laughs> There's a couple that I don't have a lot of, but you know, I buy them and who needs, you know, like I said earlier, I use them in my work, but I don't need 40 of them. It's time to let them go. But I still wish I had more of these because I only had like a pack of 20 and I've used them quite a bit. If you look through some of my work, you can see them on some envelopes and such. So anyway, here's this one here. Isn't he gorgeous? And then it opens up like so. So you've got the same image on all the sides. And you've got another side to flip out, you know, I believe. Yeah. So there's more on that side. So absolutely stunning. This just framed would be magnificent. Uh, and then we have these beautiful, you know, I don't know what kind of bird this would be because it looks like a chickadee, but chickadees don't have red, at least not where I live. So they might be another variety somewhere in the world. Oh, and this has Paris on there. Just noticed that. You'd think for all the times I've looked at this and used it, Oh. Anyway, open it up like so. Beautiful colors, lots to work with. And of course, it's on all the sides. So there's that, and then there's this guy. Isn't he stunning? And I love this. So beautiful. And I've used this in some of my work. I've used him like so. I don't know if I have one of my envelopes readily available. I don't. I don't see one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I've used this separately on different uh, projects. Just adds a little touch here or a touch there. And these on all four sides. So there you go. And that color, isn't that just stunning? So there we go. And then this here. Absolutely beautiful. And this side as well. Let me open up like so. So you've got lots to work with. Florals and birds. So there you go. So that's called peacocks. The next we have spring has sprung because I already had an English garden in pink. So the next series that are different than the other ones I have in the pinks and the purples and whatever are going to be called spring has sprung. And so this is spring has sprung pink. I think I might have a purple one and I think a blue one too. I can't remember. Um, so 
like so. Aren't those just beautiful? I guess we'll start with this one. Beautiful cherry blossoms, little chickadee, monarch butterfly, and opens up like so. Make sure I get it enough there. There we go. And then this, isn't that lovely? The colors, it's like a watercolor. So, uh, work, painting, opens like so. And you get multiple images on each side and it opens, you know, it's folded in thirds. So it's gonna open more. So you'll have six sides total. Then these are beautiful. I love this. And this is, I just, it's so striking, the blue against the yellow with the red. But these beautiful roses. And they open up like so. And again, this is the same thing. Each side has flowers to work with. And then this one here with the beautiful tropical flowers, the hibiscus, with um, some type of beautiful butterfly, and of course the hummingbird. And that side, a little bit different. The bird, anyway. Well, the butterfly, too. And it opens like this, and it's even different that way. So it's just packed full of incredible beauty. There we go. And lots of options. So let me open that up a little bit. There we go. How's that? Can you see it? Yeah, I think we can see that. So isn't that stunning? So again, that one there is called Spring Has Sprung Pink. So you'll find that. And now we're down to the ocean theme ones. This one is called Ocean... Mm, uh, it's like, I think it's Ocean Theme or something like that. Uh, anchors. Because I have several here. I'm going to toss those guys kind of under there. And I have more that I need to list. Anyway, so here they are. Beautiful. Love this. This is a Susan Winget. Winget? Yeah, Winget. Yeah, Susan Winget art. I love her stuff. It's pretty. I've been buying it for years. Um, so, like so. Lots to work with. There we go there. And, of course... The anchors would be so cute for a beach journal or some kind of summer painting or decoupage, collage project you're working on. Here we go with the sea life. Maybe it's called sea life. Sea life and then anchors or something like that. Ocean life, not sea. I'm sorry, ocean. You'll, you'll see them. I don't even know my own stuff. Goodness. <laughs> anyway, here we go with more shells, crab, corals anchors, all kinds of wonderful stuff to work with. And then we have these beautiful fish. And it's, this is a cocktail napkin size. So this one would open to 10 by 10. Look at those colors, aren't they pretty? Nice and bold and intense, like tropical fish tend to be. The ones that I've seen in the ocean. So, all right, and then this one here is the, you know, ocean set, and this one's called Sailboat. Sailboats. And there we go. And they're each different. You know, they, they look similar, but they're not. They're, 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 well, actually, I think I have this one, and I think I used it in this one, too. No, it is different. No, it's not. Okay, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> so, there we go. So, anyway, we have this one here with the sailboats. So cute. And open like so, each each side you can work with and then we have the one I just showed you so that I use the same one to complete the kit because I have quite a few of these like so oops and there it is again just beautiful and there we have this in a larger size so you have an option for larger images Oops, let me drop that down a little bit so you can see. And then, of course, that side as well. Beautiful seahorse, starfish, all kinds of beautiful sea life. And then this here with the sea monster and the octopus. I guess, well, it's just an octopus, but I guess you can back folklore sea monsters. Which actually, I guess, isn't folklore. Now they're finding these humongous squid that are enormous. So, might be true. So there we go. 
based on some of the stuff uh, that has been seen in recent years. It's pretty, pretty scary, actually. So, and then last but not least, I mean, if you're in a small boat, <laughs> that would be kind of a drag. So, uh, and I've been in small boats on the ocean sailing, and um, it's kind of cool. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not when a whale comes up near you. It's a little scary because they're so big. So anyway, so here we go. This one's called Coral uh, or Ocean ocean Theme or Ocean Dash Coral, something like that. So it's all corals, mostly corals. There seems to be coral in each one of these. Look at those beautiful colors there with the shells, the seahorse, like so. And I'm going to set that one there. And then this one here, just beautiful. So it's like so, and you flip that over and you get a little bit more, and I love the color, the blue, and then we get a little bit of the green, that sea green, which is lovely. You know, it's so wonderful when you go places, you know, I, where I grew up, the ocean was usually pretty dark blue, uh, but I've been places where it's purple, and it's mint green, and it's aqua blue and it's just stunning stunning to see that and to look down and see you know the ocean floor and see the fish and it, it was pretty cool did some snorkeling and such so there we go like this and this one opens up like so look at that isn't it beautiful and the colors are deep and rich and bright um opens like so and there's some more coral so they Lots and lots to work with if you're making a, you know, ocean theme or beach theme or fishing theme or something theme, art, journal, whatever you might be working on. And then here's this one here. A little bit different. Similar but different. Different colors and different designs. So there we go. So that one was the one called Corals. So all of these are on my Etsy site. It's Catherine Diana Art. And um, anyway, uh, there you go. So if you've got some work that you're working on and you're looking for ideas or you have ideas and you haven't been able to find some of these things, because a lot of these I've had, good heavens, 10 years. You know, you can't find them anymore. And um, so, which is a drag which is why I wish I had bought more. But, um, you know, there's there's plenty to... Um, oops, that doesn't go with that. Uh, there's plenty to to be inspired by with these things and, um, and to uh, use in so much, so many different ideas, decoupaging boxes or... You know, and I've been thinking about this, you know, it's July, and I've been thinking, oh, got to do a Christmas in July... Um, video or something because you know the holidays are going to be here before we know it and you know this year it looks like we may all be able to spend some time with family not quite sure I don't know but you know uh, it, even if we can't things are different and they'll be different this year and so you know I'm sure folks will be um, um, you know making things sending things in the mail gifts to family and friends so uh, I know last year, you know, everything was pretty much, well, very scaled back. So, anyway, so I hope you're all doing well. You're healthy. You're safe. You're not roasting in the heat like we are. I live out west. It's hot. I live at the base of the western side. I live in the, well, in the, foot, the foothills of the western side of the Rocky Mountains. And it might even get up to 108 today. And, ugh. This is not what it used to be like here, so it's really hot and unpleasant. So I hope you all are doing great, and just stay hydrated, take care, and uh, I'll be making another video soon. So have a great day, happy 4th, and happy whatever, wherever you are. So see you later. Bye-bye.